With a multitude of injuries and bye weeks coming up, almost every fantasy manager is looking for someone on the wave wire to fill a starting spot. Taylor Heineke is a decent streaming option this week as the Kansas City defense is number two in fantasy points allowed to opposing quarterbacks. Daryl Williams will start while Clyde edwards helaire is on the injured reserve, and he can be trusted as he's already been used by the Chiefs this season as a short yardage option. Devontae Booker takes over the Giants' backfield with the injury to Saquon Barkley, and he will receive a big workload, but be cautious as he has two tough matchups ahead of him. If Chris Carson does not return for Week 6, Alex Collins becomes a flex play due to the 15-20 to 20 touches he will receive. In non-PPR formats, Khalil Herbert has some value as he had 18 carries in the Bears' first game without David Montgomery. Marlon Mack is worth stashing in case he is traded to a team like the Chiefs. He could come in and make an impact on a new team, but if he is not traded, he will have very little value. If you haven't already stashed Jeff Wilson in your injured reserve slot, or your league does not have one, this may be one of the last weeks to pick him up for the upside that he could become the starting running back for the 49ers. Kadarius Toney had a breakout game and has 22 targets in his last two games. He is in line for another big week if the rest of the Giants receivers are out again. Hunter Renfro had a down game, but still managed to get 11 PPR points. He needs to be rostered in all PPR formats. Sammy Watkins' injury could be the opening Rashad Bateman needs to make his NFL debut. He is still on the injured reserve, but the Ravens might need him if Watkins is going to miss any time. T.Y. Hilton will hopefully return soon, and he may re-emerge as the Colts' number one receiver, or at least a complementary option to Michael Pittman. Hunter Henry has taken over the top tight end spot for the Patriots and has been great the past two weeks. He should continue to be a prominent target for Mac Jones. Dan Arnold had eight targets in the Jaguars' first week without DJ Chark. Hopefully he can keep that momentum up in a favorable matchup against the Dolphins. David Njoku had a monster week five, and this may be the start of something big. Add him if you have an open roster spot.